What's going on guys? Jeremy Hopper here. Uh, today I wanted to share with you a method that you can use to cook beans using a thermos. So what I've chosen for this demonstration is a 16 bean stew mix. You can pick that up at any grocery store. And I felt that this was a very good broad representation of all the different types of beans that are out there. Just to give you an idea that yes, uh, this method does work and it does work with quite a few different varieties of beans. So let's get started. Alright guys, the first step that I'm going to take is to preheat this thermos. I'm going to take this uh, canning funnel, I'm going to put that into the thermos, and I'm going to pour in um, some uh, hot boiling water, and I'm going to fill that to the top. This is going to preheat the thermos and really help with the efficiency of the overall cooking. So I'm going to put the cap back on and seal that up for the time being while I move on to the next step. I have some water uh, boiling on the stove here. I'm going to add in a half cup of the 16 beans. And the reason why I'm doing a half cup is the fact that my thermos will only hold two cups worth of, of volume and these beans will double in size. So ultimately I'll have one cup's worth of cooked beans, but I'm saving that extra cup uh, for the water and also for some other ingredients that I'm going to add later on down the road. So I'm going to bring this to a rolling boil and let it boil for ten uh, for five minutes and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, I've boiled those beans for five minutes. Now we're coming back to the thermos that I've been preheating. So I'm going to unscrew this cap and I'm going to pour out that uh, hot water. Put it in the side somewhere, use it for something else. Doesn't matter. I'm going to put the uh, canning funnel back into here. Now I'm going to take all of my uh, beans that I boiled and the water along with it and I'm going to dump it into uh, my thermos, being careful not to spill anything. So now I'm just going to cap this up. Uh, the water level is up to the top up here and you want this to be as full as possible to be as efficient as possible. So we're going to put that uh, cap on I'll take the lid, cap it on here, and I'm going to come back in two hours. Alright guys, it's been about two hours now, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my thermos and I'm going to dump all the <laughs> and I'm going to dump all the contents um, back into my pan here and uh, reheat it. And in addition to that, I'm also going to throw in uh, this is a combination of, uh, I have some uh, chopped up meat in here, I've got some onion and uh, some potatoes in there, so I'm just going to throw that in, into here. In addition to that, I'm also going to throw in some uh, beef bouillon for some seasoning. I'm going to stir this up. the seasonings mixed and now all I'm going to do is bring this to a boil and let it boil for five minutes and then I'll get back with you. Alright guys, um, the next step here is to take all of those food components that I've been boiling for five minutes. I'm going to put them back into the thermos and I should note that uh, I kept this cap the entire time just to preserve whatever residual heat was left in here. So I'm going to open that up, put my funnel back in and uh, then add in all of the uh, food components. Okay, so uh, we've refilled the thermos, so I'm going to recap it. Put the other lid back on. So now the only thing left to do is to let this sit here for four hours, and when I come back in four hours, all of this will be cooked and ready to eat. So I'll see you then. Alright guys, it's been four hours, so I'm going to uncap this, pour the contents of this 16 bean uh, stew into a bowl. We'll see what it looks like. Alright guys, I'm going to zoom in a bit here, just so you can get a closer look. And I'm going to do a little taste test. Kind of grab a little of everything. Grab some beans, potatoes, and meat and onion in there. 
still very hot. Mmm. Now this is good. And everything's definitely cooked. All it needs is probably just a little bit more salt. I probably add a little bit more uh, beef bouillon seasoning to it. But other than that, this is fully cooked and ready to eat. And the great thing about this is, it, is that uh, it only took 10 minutes worth of fuel to cook this and only 10 minutes worth of babysitting a pot on the stove to accomplish this. So whatever the case may be, this is dur during normal times, this can actually save you a little bit of money because you're only requiring 10 minutes worth of fuel. And if the world ever goes crazy and fuel is in short supply or a precious commodity, it can definitely come in handy then. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So long.